Hi guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial and today we're going to look at, um, I did one very similar in Unity 4 and it was about pushing physics objects, but this time I'll sort of rebrand it and um, update it for Unity 5, so we're going to sort of push a ball, a football, it could be a basketball, anything, a physics object, push it along the floor. So we're going to go from sort of concept to writing the script and then placing the object. So in Unity 5, we are here now. What we need to do is you need to import your character if you haven't already. So you can import the first person controller. You can right click in your project, import package and characters and bring in the first person controller prefab. When you've got that, it'll be here and you'll have a camera and its main object. You might need to scale up this first person controller if you need to. Now you've got that initially set up. What we're going to do is we're going to create something. So we're going to create a sphere. So we'll go game object, 3D object, and we'll create a sphere. Obviously, you can bring in your own object from a different modeling program if you didn't want to use one like this. What I'll do is we'll make something quite large and roughly like this. It doesn't need to be touching the floor because we're going to add physics to it. Now what we'll do is we'll go component physics rigid body and the rigid body allows it to have physics so it's going to bring it down to the ground and let us be able to push it. And we need to make sure that it's got a sphere, sphere collider because obviously if it doesn't it'll just fall through the ground and continue forever. We will right click, click create and we will create a new JavaScript file and we'll call this, we'll call this push physics. And then what we'll do is we'll open that up in mono develop. And when we're in mono develop, what I'll do is I'll get rid of the first two functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a simple script to make sure that it applies that push values to all rigid body objects within the world. So we'll start by writing variable push power equals 2.0 with a semicolon. Then leave two a couple of line breaks, and then we'll start by saying function on controller collider hit open brackets hit colon controller collider hit close that up and add two curly brackets below so what this does is creating a function for when we hit the actual controllers collider and it's going to be looking for a hit type of controller collider hit then we're going to have a variable called body and have that as type rigid body and have that equal to hit dot collider dot attached rigid body with a semicolon then we were going to say that if body is equal to null or and we need to um, flat lines and that's in my case it's where my backslash is opposite or just very close to shift if you hold shift and click the back spray base you'll you'll do it and this just means this or that then we'll say body dot we need to make sure that that's lowercase because it's changing dot is kinematic close the brackets and then there we'll say return with a semicolon and what that means is that we're going to look for so we're setting a variable of body we're looking for a rigid body and that rigid body is going to be we're going to hit a collider which is called a rigid body so whatever we hit then if we don't hit a rigid body here or the body that is kinematic so kinematic in rigid body terms means it doesn't move it means yeah, we're not going to do anything for now so we'll just return to the beginning but now we're going to write another if statement and we'll say that if hit dot move direction dot y is less than minus 0 0.3 then we'll close that up and have return again and this one means if we hit an object and it is below our character we don't want to be able to push it now what we're going to do is we're going to write another variable and call this push direction as type vector3 equals vector3 th vector open brackets hit 
dot move direction dot x comma zero comma hit dot move direction dot z close that up and add a semicolon and then below there we'll say body dot velocity equals push direction or push dir times the push power that we set at the top so what this push direction means is that we're setting a vector 3 and a vector 3 is going to be x y and z so it's going to be the sort of direction that something moves so what this means is this one's x this one's y this one's z so we can only ever push something from the x or the z which is left and right say and never up or down so we don't want to be able to push it into the air unless obviously you want to do that then what we're saying is and then we're now we're going to say the body which we originally set which is rigid body will set the velocity equal to the push direction so the direction of which you're pushing it times by the push power so you can change the push power accordingly what we'll do is we'll save that script out then we'll go to our first person controller again we'll add push physics there I will have push physics uh, push power should I say at 2 and then what we'll do is we'll play the game and I'll look at our massive sphere that we've got there and now we'll be able to push that around in our scene and it's a little bit difficult to push and you'll notice that it looks like that ball manages to go forever and doesn't really stop very realistically so what we can do is we can select our sphere our ball whatever we've got and we can put some drag on the actual ball itself so we can add a drag of five now we can push the ball again and you'll notice that it stops much more quickly and we can um, adjust things like it does use gravity and what we can do in the push power is we can set that to 5 so we can have more power to add to the object that we're going to push so it'll be easier to push the object and we might want to take the physics down if it's going to say the drag down if it's going to be um, a lighter object say and it's going to go further it really just depends what type of um, ball or what type of physics object you're trying to push because if it's a square object it's going to have a lot of drag because it won't be able to smoothly roll now uh, for a sphere depending on how much or how heavy that actual object is you want to adjust the drag accordingly to make it as realistic as it was a heavy sort of boulder you want the drag to be maybe quite a lot or if it was a really smooth like a football and you want it to glide along for some time before it stops and you can just adjust the push power and that accordingly to what you feel is suitable so you need to remember that you've got a physics object it could be a square it could be a sphere we have a collider on it make sure it's got a rigid body you can adjust the drag accordingly um, first person controller needs your push physics script and it's just a, a fairly short script to apply find a rigid body and push in a direction and give it a force when you need to so this was just a short one so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers